What's on YouTube? This is Joe from Zephyr War Games, and if you have seen it already, or if it hasn't, um, this is the Galaxy Eyes Utopia deck profile for the combo that is either already out or coming out here on the channel. This is a deck that I've been working on for a, a, a good couple of days, um, just trying to update my Galaxy Eyes deck as a whole, just to make it as consistent as possible. Um, and to give it as many options as possible to play without it bricking so much. Unfortunately though, bricks still do come and go. Um, you can't like avoid that. So, but this is the most consistent I have probably made Galaxy Eyes since way back in the day with Galaxy Cyber. Um, and this is probably like the most fun I've had playtesting Galaxy Eyes as well since then. Um, just because the amount of plays that you can do and the end balls that you end if you've seen the combo as well um, or will see the combo is absolutely disgusting. So before I get into this, if you enjoy this, give us a like and subscribe down below. Ding that under the vacation bell because obviously if you enjoy a person's content here on YouTube, you don't want to miss out on that content and that notification bell helps prevent that. And all of that is greatly appreciated and thank you guys so much for doing so. So with all that done, done. Let's get into this Galaxy Eyes Utopia profile. So to start off, I'm going to do um, in um, archetype order first. So starting off with the Photon Galaxy package, you have the one Galaxy Eyes, the one Galaxy Knight, two Brave, two Vanisher. Zoom out a little bit. Three Orbital and free wizard this is your photon galaxy package in the deck i think it comes to about 21 or uh it comes to 22 cards that you're playing in terms of the monster count and to me this is perfect um everything that you have here is part of your combo and part of the deck and literally gets you into like game two victory if everything goes well and goes through so your main focal point is getting to Brave and Fa um, Vanisher. You could play three copies if you want to, but I feel like playing less of this two and two, and then just upping the ratios of these, which gets you to these, is a lot better because at the bare minimum, if you have this um, plus your ZS Sage, um, the Senate Sage, you at least have three negates on board plus a search at the bare minimum just from that alone. But obviously. If you get into this, um, you can then get into this, which then pl this plus the Astral Utopia is full on combo, which is just absolutely insane. And the reason why you only play the one each of these, you search the Galaxy Eyes with the Vanish and you ditch it with your, um, with your Astral Utopia. And on the following turn, you can then search out your Galaxy Knight, which if you still have a Galaxy Eyes on board, you can a normal sum revive the Galaxy Eyes and go into a rank eight for game. So. I'm trying, the whole point of this deck is to establish a turn one offensive board going first and then just go for punch for game going second as much as, as well as Galaxy Eyes already does. Um, and if you're just going second, you just have full on gas to just completely kill your opponent there and then. So that's it for the Galaxy Eyes package. Moving on to your Utopia package, you have your free Astral Utopia. Your three ZS Sage, your two Astral Karibos, and your one Pegasus Twin Saber. Um, these two are the bare important plus the Pegasus Twin Saber for your Lyra arms. They're detrimental to your uh, to your deck. They're very important. You've got to max out on all of these, especially the Astral Utopia, because you can't, other than Rota and Small Worlds, hint, hint, um, spoiler alert, um, you can't search this. So um, you need to max out copies of this, plus again, bare minimum, this plus this is at least three negates. Um, Astral Karibo is part of your small world package because the, a, um, the most things it just shares with the deck is the fact that it's a light. It can clash with um, 
Galaxy Brave because they both also share zero attack and as well as Galaxy Wizard. But other than that, it doesn't share that much with the deck so it does help with the small world consistency. Um, but also, um, this plus Wizard is at least a um, Numon Dragon. Um, because you just make Galaxy Wizard level 8, you reveal level uh, rank 8 to so make Astral Kariba level 8. And you can go into your number 97 and then Dragoolion. So, win-win from there. To round up the monsters, we're just playing two copies of, unfortunately, two Artifact Scythe. I was playing a Fet Raiders before, but Fet Raider just clashes too much. The fact that it has zero attack and defense. Um, Scythe is just a, or a artifact, you can be Lancey as well, um, is just a lot better because it just only shares light with the deck. So it's like the perfect mid ground for your um, small world to get into basically anything in your deck. Um, and so that's why I've gone with Scythe. And you'll obviously see another reason why I've gone for Scythe as well. That's it for the monsters. Moving on to spells for your consistency. We're playing the one voter. As I mentioned, three small world. I love small world. And two copies of Zaxel Construction. Um, uh, if you don't have more copies of small world, just don't have small world at all. Uh, just max out your copies of Zaxel Construction. And then you can just like max out on your Brave and um, Vanisher. Um, so it'd be like one Zaxel Construction, one Brave, one Vanisher. Um, until you get your access to Small World. Um, Small World is just fantastic though. Again, um, with the help of Scythe being the mid round or a artifact being the mid ground, um, you get access to anything, to, to anything into your deck. Uh, construction helps not only get access to your Sage, but also get returns your bricks that you don't want. More importantly, your Twin Saber and your Double or Nothing um, that you just don't want to have in your hand. And you can just go off and come with it. And Rota, you play it at one because it is at one, unfortunately. Um, for searching, for the cards that you're going to be searching, you've got your two copies of Utopia Force. The reason I'm going for two copies is because of another video for Utopia video I saw before. If you open this, it means you're not detrimented or like heavily reliant on your Ascendant Sage resolving. If your Ascendant Sage effect gets ashed, um you're not your end board is going to be much weaker you can still play because you can just use your utopia double to go straight up into dragnar you get at least two negates on board but um having the access to the rank up means you get one additional negation on board plus a search um so it's very important that you can have access to this so playing the two copies means you got you get that one copy of Galaxy Trance, you search this off your Photon Lord for your OTK on the following turn. Double or nothing being the ultimate brick in the deck. Um, it, in a more pure Utopia deck, it doesn't really matter because you can just always use a second Utopia to resolve the double or nothing. But in this deck, you're only playing the one Utopia. So it is literally the definition of a brick in the deck, especially since you only need it to resolve your utopia double um so you could play two copies if you want to you don't have to play like the monster reborn that i've just snapped on the field <laughs> um in front of you you don't have to play monster reborn if you're really um wanting to resolve the uh the utopia double you can just bump up double or nothing to two uh taking up monster reborn but i like the monster reborn for the um the additional extender that you can use in the deck and a way to get into game and the one cool by the grave because you don't like hand traps in the game. Moving on to the traps. Uh, obviously, you saw Scythe. We're playing Sanctums. Uh, you can play three Sanctums if you want to. But instead of that, I've gone for the numbers protection in the combo you search this. So you kind of have to play it. And it's the main reason why you're playing Astral Utopia. But I'm also playing two copies of Tachyon Trance Migration. Your end board always resolves on a Galaxy Eyes monster because you'll always resolve or have the ability to resolve on Photon Lord. So by having Photon Lord already on the board from just simple two level fours, um, at the bare minimum two level fours, if you have this in hand, can get you a monster negate and an omni negate. Um, so and an e omni negate that negates everything in a chain link. So if they're trying to be like sneaky and cheeky and chain block you, you just go, okay, cool. Um, 
negate all of it <laughs> and all your board gets shuffled into the deck that I negated. Um, so very strong card and I thought like if you easily can get into attack, uh, Galaxy Eyes and your deck is designed to go first, um, this card's absolutely fantastic. So um, that's why I've gone for that. If you don't want to play this or reduce the copies of it, you can like take one out for Sanctum. So it'd be free Sanctum, Numbers Protection, Tachyon. If Tachyon was searchable, I would definitely just play one of it. Um, but unfortunately, it's not. So I'm playing at least two. That's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. Um, just like with the main deck, I'm going to go with the Utopia combo cards first. Then go into what you're ending on. And then your um, the like last five cards or six cards are all optional. Um, and you'll see why. Um, number 99, Dragnar, Utopia Prime, Utopia, and Utopia Double, and ZS Sage. This is all part of the Utopia combo. You need these. At the very bare minimum, you need these. This is if you want to be further extender and cheeky and just get more consistency in your deck. Um, these five cards you definitely need. So it does seem like a lot and it can be depending on what deck you're trying to make. Um, having five slots for the combo. Um, but it's very much worth it because you get an access to a very strong monster which gives you to two negates um, if it all goes through correctly. Which is absolutely fantastic. Well two to three negates. Two extra bodies on board basically. For your negation that you're going to be summoning out is Utop uh, Leo Ray. Photon Lord and Titanic Galaxy. These are the main ones you're going to be summoning off, off your Dragner, which gives you your negates. Utopia Ray is always there. You always summon Utopia Ray because, yeah, it does mean you need a brick in your deck, but you get that brick gives you a Omni Negate that doesn't start a chain. So you can negate anything in a chain link because it just resolves um, in the forms of a uh, Twin Saber. But by having that, Leo Ray is also a quick enough effect, negate an opponent's monster and cut its attack in half. Which is very important because that attack in half means it's much easier for you to kill your opponent on the following turn. So long as that body is still on board. Photon, and you're just going to back him up with either a Photon Lord if you want to get that additional search. And, or if you have a Tachyon Transmigration in your hand, have ability to actually activate it. Um... And then, or your Titanic Galaxy, if you're up against a base spell heavy deck, aka things like Sky Striker, um, you can end on Leo Ray, with an, um, who is part Omni Negate and a Titanic Galaxy, so that's two spells you're stopping. So, very, very good there. For your um, themed Galaxy Eyes OTK, we have the Prime Photon. Um, you're going to be summoning this mostly off your Galaxy Trans. This is what your Galaxy Trans is getting you into. And again, at the bare minimum, he's 5600 smack into the face. If you still have monsters on board, he then he's just going to get even bigger for their ranks as well. And then the last six cards in the deck are all optional. What I've gone for is a Galaxy Knight OTK in the forms of Dragoon plus Numon Dragon. One fun fact, actually, if you're going second, if you get your Dragnar um, to at least two materials, you can summon Dragoobleon, and if you have the rank up in Grave, attach the rank up to Dragoobleon, then use Dragoobleon to summon out Numon Dragon. So that Numon Dragon is going to get absolutely huge. Yes, he's the only thing that can attack, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> so, um, I believe that does work. Um, I might be wrong. Uh, if I am wrong, just post it down in the comments below and then just ignore what I just said. But this is mostly in here for the Galaxy Knight. I'm not really doing that play anyway. Um, this is something I thought that might work. But Dragoobleon into Numon Dragon just for your classic OTK with Galaxy Knight. And then the last cards are Gaga Ga Magician, Utopic Future, uh, Draco Future and Star Age Photon Blast Dragon. I had at the bare minimum four slots spare that I wanted to try and fit something in. I couldn't really think of anything else. Um, and I thought, well, these would work. 
because you're going to have either Utopic Sage on the field or in your grave. So you can just, on next turn, two level four, summon out Gaga Gaga Magician, revive the Sage, go into Utopic Future, and Draco. You have an Omni Negate that's quite difficult for your opponent to get over with. And then at the very last card, I thought I needed something else. So I wanted to go with Stylish Blast Dragon um, because at the bare minimum, um, you can just go Galaxy Brave Vanisher into Blast or two level fours into a Blast, summon out your Galaxy Eyes and go off from there if you needed to. Um, but yes, that is the deck profile. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below what you think of this. It's something I've been working on a lot um, lately and I'm really pleased with the results that I've been having with it. Um, it's very strong, very fun. Um, it's not exactly top tier meta, but you know, you're not gonna really get that with Galaxy Eyes, unfortunately, until you get some broken support. Um, but um, at the bare minimum, I feel like the Utopia engine is consistent and small enough that really does help the deck shine and push through and getting to what it needs and wants to do and so that's what i wanted to kind of like emphasize in this deck um and also to emphasize why um as well as in the combo why the combo of numbers protection and astral utopia is very good for like any deck out there that is establishing number monsters as your end board this small little two card package is very strong something i do advise giving a go so as always like comment and subscribe to next time as always stay safe and of course happy dueling <laughs>